stormy, hot, breathtaking. Santa Barbara, the daytime saga premieres Monday. See it from the beginning. C.C. Capwell. I can't believe that they let the man who murdered my son back on the streets. Let me tell you that if he sets one foot in Santa Barbara, if he tries to hurt my daughter Kelly, I'll destroy him. Santa Barbara. See it from the beginning, July 30th. Hot, stormy, breathtaking. Santa Barbara, a spectacular daytime saga premieres Monday. See it from the beginning. Kelly Capwell. Five years ago, something happened that turned my life upside down. Now, after I finally put all the pieces together, why did he have to come back? Santa Barbara. See it from the beginning, July 30th. They shared a love only the two of them could understand until tragedy tore them apart. Santa Barbara, the daytime saga, premieres Monday, 3 Eastern, 2 Central and Pacific. Joe Perkins. They put me in prison for a murder I didn't commit. They tore my family apart and took away the only woman I ever loved. But this summer, I'm coming home to Santa Barbara and I'm going to get it all back. Santa Barbara, see the daytime saga from the beginning, Monday. Hot, stormy, breathtaking. Santa Barbara, see the daytime saga from the beginning, Monday, July 30th. Mason Capwell. I work hard. I try. But my father doesn't think I'm anything. My sister doesn't understand me. And the woman I want could care less. But I'm going to show them. And they'll be sorry. Santa Barbara. See it from the beginning. July 30th. Anna Andrade. I had nothing. Nothing but my baby. And then they took that away from me. But now... I don't just want my baby. I want revenge. Santa Barbara. See it from the beginning, July 30th. Jade Perkins. I really want it all. I really want it bad. When I get there, I know it's going to be good. I want everyone to love me. I'm going to be a star. And I'll do anything, anything to make it happen. Santa Barbara. The daytime saga premieres Monday. See it from the beginning. Five years ago. Something happened that turned my life upside down. They put me in prison for a murder I didn't commit. After I finally put all the pieces together. I'm coming home to Santa Barbara. Why did he have to come back? Santa Barbara. See it from the beginning, July 30th. Great writing, Channing. Are you still sore? Oh, not too bad. You beat the Hungarians at their own game. Yeah, hey, well. Channing, do you always wear your spurs at bed? You would have loved Lady Sin. <laughs> My brother's uh, taste runs to women who aren't ladies. <laughs> no, the ladies I get are too often my younger brother's rejects. <laughs> That's the prize of having a younger brother who's an internationally recognized athlete. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Oh, thank you, Philip. Uh, another assignation. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, who's in love with you now? Oh. Santana. Santana. Will uh, I see you later?
they all say that. They all claim to be innocent. This guy is different. There's just something about him. He's a killer, bro. He killed that boy. Excuse me, fellas. Step back, please. Excuse me. Move to the side. Thank you. Thank you, fellas. Move to the side. All right, let the warden do Joe Perkins, Joe, you're out, Joe. You're released from prison. The parole board moved up its decision on you. You're out, Joe. You're free to go. You're free. All right, you Good know. luck, Joe. I give you the number. You call my girl, Joe? Leave me whatever you don't need, OK? You're out, Joe. You're free. It's all over. What's the matter, Dad? Joe Perkins has been released. No. He, he wasn't enough for parole. I thought you could handle it. Well, I was, a but he was... A foul up, is that it? It just happened. They just let him out. It's... It's like it's yesterday. Well... Can't let it spoil Kelly's big day. Your sister deserves some happiness. No, I think she's very happy, Dad. When she finds out he's been released, well, thank God she's got somebody else. Yeah. If Perkins comes back here, if Perkins comes back and starts to harass Kelly again. I'm with you, Dad. Lost a son to that bastard. I am not going to lose a daughter. She never care about him now. I know. You know, sometimes... Sometimes still I can't believe he's gone. My namesake, Channing Capwell Jr. Cut down. He was at the top. Toast of two continents. Now the man who killed him has just been let out on the street. A man can have so much and yet lose what is most dear. We have us, Dad. Dad, Eden, Kelly, me. 
I know, Mason. I... I didn't mean... It's just this whole... This whole thing stirs up so much. Perkins, try to keep on top of your emotions. I'm warning you, that's where you're going to get into trouble. And don't go back home. Stay away from Santa Barbara. They're going to be looking for any excuse. Nobody has forgotten. And your parole can be rescinded in two seconds. I'm going to find the killer. You know that, don't you? Look, I'm going to find the guy that should have been in here instead of me. You're not hearing me. Your parole can be rescinded if you get into trouble. A traffic ticket can do it. Anything can do it. They don't like the way you part your hair. Somebody's going to make a stink about it. Do you hear me? You're going to end up back in here. And you're never going to get out. I'm going to find him. Guard. Well, take it all in, Joe. It's where you belong. Remember, it's a big world out there. So where do you go from here? Home. Home. We have a special news bulletin on Joe Perkins, the convicted killer of Channing Capwell Jr. Only moments ago, Perkins was released from San Quentin. This will come as a shock to the citizens of Santa Barbara who still recall the heinous crime, one they call the crime of the century. Now, recap today's events. We have just received word that Joe Perkins will return to Santa Barbara. I repeat, Joe Perkins, convicted of second-degree murder, I... staying of Channing you heard? Capwell Jr. has He's been out. released from San Quentin. He's Quentin. out. No way. He's going to come back here. I know it for sure. Yes. Every second. We'll do whatever we have to. This station has received a number of calls in the last quarter hour. Calls that contained anonymous threats to Perkins and his family. We repeat, Joe Perkins, Mom! convicted of second-degree murder in the staying of Channing Capwell Jr., has been released Mother, from San Quentin after serving what five years in that prison and is returning to Santa Barbara. His early parole home. came unexpectedly this morning mean? after the parole board reviewed his God. records. We have unofficial He's word that the of Santa Barbara is released. Oh, oh Joe! <laughs> He's been released. He's coming home tonight. Tonight. Oh, I can't wait till tonight. <laughs> oh, Mary, it's been over five years. Oh, baby. Five years. It's been a lifetime. For what? He didn't kill anybody. Hey! John! Daddy, big news. John, it's finally happened. What's all the commotion? Go on. No, you tell. <laughs> Joe's been released. He's got a jail, Dad. <laughs> Out of the slammer now, is he? He's coming home, Daddy. Joe's coming home. I am going to be snapped. I'm going to be hash brown. Give it five. Five. I'll be guacamole in five. Hey, what about you? It's your sister's engagement party. Just be cool. That's easy for you. You just attend the party. I have to help my mother serve it. The master can be late. The servant has to be on time. She'll be here. I'm gonna get killed. You know what she's gonna do to me? She's gonna... Hey. Are you listening to me? Hello? Look, Rose is always good to you. No, no, no. She's good to you. I'm her son. Would you just shut and say Boca? Shut and say Boca. Right. Hey, I knew it. 
Hey! Hey, Jay. What's new? Oh, not much. You're all dressed up. Oh, uh, yeah. It's my sister's party. Hey, she's got engaged. Oh, that's right. I heard about that. So, listen, uh, you want to come? Where? To the party. You now? It's got to be now. Or you might as well plant me in the ground. No, I can't go like this. Oh, no, you look terrific. What? No. Everybody would stare at me. No, 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 no. This is not that way I do. And we can go to the party. No one will ever see us. Well, that doesn't make sense. Just trust me. Ted, now, come on. I, no, Ted, I can't really. You take her hand. I'll take no, her No, no, yes. I just... Oh, it's coming up. Come on. Yes. That'd be great. I'm not dressed for Ted, really. Come on, you gotta trust me. Just come Wait, on. Wait, my life's full. No, Ted, I really... Come on, I want... Great. Next bus, Santa Barbara. That'll be twelve fifty. Bus leaves in 15. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry, guys. Friend, you just bought the ticket. We'd like to buy you another. Yeah, well, I'm not interested. To San Francisco. Yeah, well, I'm going to Santa Barbara. We'll change your ticket. You'll get a refund. She would have said I'm going to Santa Barbara. Well, we think you'd like to rethink. Let's see if we can help this thought process is along. <laughs> Francisco, here he comes. Ladies and gentlemen, behind these exclusive gates, there is a party going on at the Capwell Estate. All the beautiful people have gathered to celebrate the engagement of Kelly Capwell and Peter Flint. Ambrose, why have we stopped? There's some people at the Capwell Gate, ma'am. Looks like news people. <laughs> the Capwells are mad about the headlines. Ambrose, home. There seems to this reporter to be a certain amount of irony in the fact that Joe Perkins, who was once himself rumored to be secretly engaged to Kelly Capwell just five years ago, has been released from prison on this very day. Mason, don't let that reporter in. And get the press off my property. Right. Tell them we'll call the police. You're the assistant DA. Tell them whatever you have to, but make them go away. Will do. Santana. It can't be true. It is. I'll be back. It can't be. It just can't be true. I have my attorneys talking with the parole board. He's a killer. Santana, listen. I hate him. I understand. I've never forgotten. I love Channing so. I know that. But we can't bring my son back, Santana. I want you to know that I'm going to do everything within my power to put that man back in prison. I will make every effort to keep him away from here. He shouldn't be alive when Channing is dead. Believe me, I know. We both love Channing. Excuse me, Mr. Capto. They're waiting for you. You're to dance with your daughter. Uh, I'll be just a minute. Uh, thank you, Philip. Are you going to be all right? Will you stay as long as you like?
Hey, babe, come on. They're playing our song. Let's dance. Oh, of course. This has all been planned weeks in advance. Right. Now watch me trip on my head. <laughs> you, a swan. Would you do that? Oh, yes. <laughs> You know, you are the most beautiful woman in the world. No way. <laughs> May I cut in? Hi, Daddy. Well, I suppose I could loan you your daughter for a little while. Thank you. I don't know how many more chances I'll have to do this. Mm, I love to dance with you, Daddy. Probably because I taught you how. You remember all those dinner dances at the Yacht Club? Mm, Evie and I used to fight over who got to dance with you. <laughs> I think that you won most of the time. I think I've won today, too, haven't I? I, uh, I have a surprise for you. You've been knocking me out with surprises, Daddy. I can't take any more. I have arranged for the helicopter to whisk you and Peter out to the island tonight. You have? Mm -hmm. The yacht is on its way to Celtic Cove. I thought you both might like to take your time and come back tomorrow before it gets dark. <laughs> You're some swinging dad. That's terrific. Peter will love that. Well, this is 1984. You're grown up, I think. Besides, I'm, um, I may be old-fashioned in some ways, but not at all. And I have another reason for making sure that you're safely out of town. Mm, I don't know how safe I'll be. I've, uh, I've gotten some news I think you have to be told. What is it? What is it, Daddy? Joe Perkins was released from prison today. I hope he doesn't try to come back to Santa Barbara. That would be a very foolish thing to do. Joe. Are you all right? Hey, don't worry. I'm fine. Really. Oh, hi. <clears throat> uh, you know Lake Lockridge? Sure. This is my sister. Hi. The nearly bride be. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. So what's up? Um, well, I wanted to talk to you, but it can wait. It's no problem. I shouldn't have come. Well, I promised her we wouldn't have to mingle with all your fans out there. I, I really should be going. Oh, no. Stay. Enjoy yourself. Well, don't you look great today? Yeah, right. Well, you're not too bad either. I love the sneakers. Hey, latest style. Well, I'll see you. I do at least get one dance, right? Kel, what's the matter, man? I can talk. No, no, thanks. It's okay, little bird. Bye. 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 She's neat. Uh, yeah. I just wish Flint was up to her. Well, I thought you liked him. Maybe as a physics teacher. Um. Listen, forget I said that. <clears throat> well, I consider you one of the family now. Well, thank you, sir. Well, there's no need to call me sir. All right, fine, I won't. And there are certain advantages to being part of the family. Certain perks, you might say. Well, I'd say that Kelly is enough of a perk. I'm glad you feel that way, Peter. Absolutely. You've been teaching for how long now? Six years here in Santa Barbara. Uh-huh. What is your ambition, to be headmaster at Lyman? Well, my ambitions are somewhat larger than that. To uh, go into business? Perhaps. Good. If a position were to open up, would you consider working with uh, Capwell Enterprises? Well, yes, of course. Peter, there's something that you should understand. All of this, I have worked very hard for and my father before me, and his father. We're always building on what has gone before. And each new generation dedicates itself to taking what has been given and making it into something greater. Do you understand? All our holdings, how shall I say this, uh, our influence, 
increases every year. And we want it to continue. Now, if you can show me that you have the strength and the drive, then you can be an important part of all this. Oh, thank you, sir. That's CC. Ordinarily, I would wait until your marriage to Kelly to uh, speak this frankly. But with Perkins' sudden release, Peter, Kelly has to be protected starting now. Take care of her. Make her happy. Nurture her love. If you do that, you'll be like a son to me even before the marriage takes place. You understand? I think so, yes. Good. You're on your way to becoming a Capwell. I'll spell it out for you. Whatever it takes. Just keep him out of Santa Barbara. You heard me. Keep him out of Santa Barbara. Consider it done. Oh, what is this? I should go up and pack a few things. Uh, I know a way. I'm not letting you leave my side for an instant. Mm, you want to come up and help me pack? Well, I don't think we get too much packing. <laughs> mm, you're bad. I know. I just can't help myself. Good. <laughs> oh, wait, don't go just yet. I have a toast I want to make. Oh. Excuse me, everyone. Excuse me. Can I get your attention for just a second? Uh, this is a momentous day. And I have a toast I'd like to make. A toast to my fiance, Miss Kelly Capwell. To you, lovely Kelly, may you continue to inspire the sun to rise every morning, and may I be a worthy husband to you every night. <laughs> <laughs> to Kelly. To Kelly. Oh, an emergency. There's an outrageous disturbance going on near here. Wild music. Loud enough to wake the dead. Yes, I can't think. I can't sleep. Where, where? C.C. Capo. Yes, I want charges filed against him. I want him arrested. I've got to go. Oh, why? Well, my, my mother, and I, I told my grandmother I was going to be at the beach. She still thinks I'm there. This is Mrs. T. McDonald Lockridge. T. T is in Tiger. Young man, do you know who I am? Well, thank you for that, at least. I hope they fingerprint him. I hope they strip search him, book him, and lock him up forever. But not What's this about, Rosa? I do believe But I'm in the middle of my daughter's engagement party. I know they insisted. What is it? What's going on? What's this about? Sorry to bother you, sir, but there's been a complaint registered. What are you talking about? From the neighbors. They're saying you're a little bit too loud here. Do you know what my young son would say about your charges? No, sir. Bull Twinkie. Pure, unadulterated Bull Twinkie. Right? Right, sir. Bull Twinkie. Bert, you tell Minx Lockridge you were very effective that you read the riot act to me, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good time. Okay, Bert. Good night. Good night.
Philip. Yes, sir. Philip, would you do something for me? Would you, um, would you ask the band to play a little bit louder? Minx Lockridge probably can't hear the music with all her windows closed. And I'm sure she'd be delighted to hear all the music. Who is it? It's me, babe. Is everything okay? Yes. I hope you got something warm for tonight. It does get a little windy out there, you know. Yes, I do. Hey, babe. I'm fine. <laughs> no, you're not. Peter. That damn parole board. Joe's coming back. He's not going to spoil today. Or tonight. Yeah, I won't let it. I mean, we are... Uh, Practically married. Let's go. I love you so much, Joe. You want to know one of the things I love? I love the way your muscles kind of flex when I rub my fingers over them. It's as if you can't help yourself. I run my fingers over your back and one by one, I, I feel the muscles move. They're responding to me, to my touch. I love to touch you, Joe. It was awful. I came into my father's study and I saw him. He had a gun in his hand. And my brother was lying on the floor. He was dead. Joe had killed him. He'd killed him. back there somewhere. It's gone now. Let's get out of here. Come on. Well, let's get going. Come on, let's go. I think somebody's trying to kill somebody. Yeah, you better get some help. Look, everybody's okay. Nobody was hurt, right? Let's go. I gotta report this. What if they come back again? I'm getting off here. Okay, okay. Whoever wants off now, get off. Here's your chance. I think it's you that you're after, fella. You bet. Let's go. We'll send somebody back for you. You better. Okay. Let's go. Hey, look, buddy. I bought a ticket to Santa Barbara. Well, let's go.
I had a terrific time. Yeah, oh, me too. The stable's a perfect place for a party. Yeah, well, those horses, they have a ball every night. <laughs> <laughs> Your sister looked lovely. I, I hope she's happy. Oh, yeah. You going to the beach tomorrow? I'll be there. Maybe I'll be there too then. You know something? You talk too much. I do? On certain occasions. Good evening, Lake. And what have we here? A stray puppy? What? Yes, now I can hear you. I don't understand. I didn't want you to kill him. I just wanted you to stop him. I don't want him here in Santa Barbara. You failed, is that what you mean? Okay, I'll handle this my own way. Mama. Okay, I'm coming. Mr. Catwalk said you were upset. I'm fine. I'm just in a hurry. Why are you going like this? Mama, I gotta go. Santana, wait. You're very upset. Mama, let no. me go. I can't allow you to go out like this. You're liable to have a wreck. Mama, stop it. I've got to go and do what I have to do, and you're not going to stop it. Santana, let me go with you. Santana. I nearly forgot my keys. Oh, I nearly forgot my head. Did you feel he's skinny? He was so skinny the last time we saw him. Well, what do I care if he's skinny? I mean, who cares if he's skinny? He's coming home. Your brother's coming home. Johnny, you ready to go to the depot? I'm not going. Daddy. What? I'm not going. Why? My leg's bothering me. It is. Yeah. I'll drive. I mean, I'll drive if that's what it is. Or Jade can. I don't think I could. Sure, come on, Dad. I'll see him. Later, you mean? Yeah, later. You go on, will you? You're not going to welcome your son home after five years? Perkins is coming in in 20 minutes. We've alerted everyone. Good. Citizens have a right to know there's a killer coming back into town and to welcome him. I want him to have a homecoming he'll never forget. Station to protest the return of convicted killer Joe Perkins. Ma'am, your feelings. Excuse me, is Joe Perkins here yet? Uh, no. Uh, they say the bus is going to be a little late. I couldn't help thinking all day how absolutely radiant you are. <laughs> oh, Daddy. Are you happy? Yes, Daddy. Now, what can I do to make it better? Nothing. You've done everything. Oh, uh, Mrs. Armstrong wanted you to know that she has renamed her turtle doves after you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, in that case, um, tell her that I'm molting with pleasure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Goodbye, CC. Bye, Daddy. Thanks for everything.
coat better yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Excuse me. Excuse me. My son is on that bus. Hold on. They'll be bringing him in soon. Oh. 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 Oh.